very welcome to all my friends welcome back to this channel seek the soul the truth lies within so welcome back to another episode of celibacy and as in the last episode if you have heard it that we spoke about why celibacy is so important for your physical health how the hormones in your body get affected how the different three happiest happiness factor hormones also affect your complete health so we had spoken about how your health is getting affected and today we're going to speak about how your mental health gets affected so you see last time we spoke about how dopamine how serotonin is created whenever you are in a ecstasy mode or you're feeling some kind of a external influence or you're getting some kind of an internal influence so when we are dependent upon an external influence like chocolates like getting any kind of physical sensation where we spoke about how you get sensations through getting in touch with another human being getting engaged physically and how dopamine levels are increased and how your serotonin levels are increased you feel happy for some time you feel that there's a glow on your face you feel that you have lost weight or your health is wonderful because of that sexual activity but then what is exactly happening to you if you remember you're getting addicted to it just like having alcohol just like having anything or getting addicted to any other thing you are so dependent upon it that if you don't get it you might end up having headaches you might end up being moody you might end up being somebody who is not at all happy so here i'm going to talk to you something about how mentally you get affected now see all this knowledge is not my own i have all learned all this through a supreme source which we call it as shiv baba or we call it as a godfather so i'll ask you one question over here what do you think about god when you think about him do you think he's the purest of all or he's also impure like us so if you feel that he's purest of all and you call him your godfather or you call him allah or jehovah and you call him as the creator then you are created in his own eyes right so how should you be yourself purity when we talk about purity we talk about celibacy you see god says shiv baba says that it's very important to be celibate if you can be celibate throughout your life in this birth it's wonderful but at least experience celibacy for some period of time and experience the effects of it so in the last video i spoke about how physically you become more active you become more agile you are more attentive physically you stop aging fast when you are pure it helps you to nullify the extremities of your hormonal levels when you are less sexually active and you are following celibacy today i'm going to talk to you about something which even shiv baba told me through the medium of brahma kumaris that it helps you to become prosperous wealthy but prosperity can only come when you have a mind which is stable isn't it so stability of mind means you don't get panicked in certain situations you hold the situations not accountable for your mood you hold not the people accountable for your mood but you are holding your mind accountable for how it reacts to those situations so how does celibacy help you out so you see what happens is when you are celibate a part of your mind is not getting so activated or dependent upon any person you are not utilizing your energies your spiritual energies are not spreading about around in all the directions you see many people they work so hard to get sexual flavors from people you you see men in this world they earn money they get posts and positions so much so and one of the reasons why let me speak the truth to you over here one of the reasons why because this is a man who is talking to you a soul in a man's body that one of the reasons why people want power and positions and they want a lot of money is so that they can exploit the sexual arena in this world they have many more choices like the kings and the queens of the past when they were kings they used to have concubines they used to have harems around them why because the more you had money the more you had power the more you could get sexual favors so that's why all the fights all the kingdoms fighting with each other happen and in the present world also today people are fighting with each other for relationships people are getting jealous in relationships and do you think that is bringing about stability of the mind do you think even that it's possible to be stable in that kind of state now what is the benefit of celibacy in my own personal life and being married and me and my wife we are celibate 
and we are experiencing the benefits of it we see that she herself says that i don't feel jealous even if you talk to another woman i don't feel that feeling of jealousy because you have put up a lock onto your mind that i am talking to another soul and i'm not looking at her on a sexual basis so i don't feel threatened in my relationship with you and my life has become more peaceful and in my own life also because we are celibate if she talks to another man let's say another soul and that person might be very attractive more attractive than how i look but i don't feel jealous because i know that in heart in her heart she has given her heart to shibaba that means she has made god father as the only being whom she wants to follow because god father is a point of light he is pure so i also want to be pure that's what it means to be a child of god or that what it means to be following god right just like people follow sanyasis or people householders they follow sanyasis but then do they really follow the sanyasis or do they really follow the ones who have been staying in the stage of yoga let's say sitting on the himalayas and being there in tapasya for a long long time do you think they are really following them they are revering them or they are giving them respect but then to be a follower means to follow in the footsteps of the sanyasi that means you also leave or lead your life as a celibate in order to follow a sanyasi that's how you become a follower so here when we follow god let's say we follow god for the shiva over here shiv baba who's a energy a point of light as you see over here behind me we also consider ourselves to be pure souls we say okay we were born pure as a soul i am pure but my karmas or my impure activities have put up a black mark or a black spot onto my karmic accounts or my deeds now i want to purify them i want to have a stable mind so that i can focus on becoming wealthier mentally also and physically also in my worldly aspects also so she also mentioned to me certain things we were having certain wealth uh creation uh, problems earlier but now we are becoming more and more attuned we are getting in line with finding uh, prosperity in a life on a on a physical basis also so she asked me yesterday a couple of days back she asked me do you think it's because of purity do you think that we are earning money or we are getting into the process of earning wealth because of purity and i had a simple answer i said yes because i feel more peaceful i don't panic when situations are not in my uh, not going as per me and i feel that i can take other decisions and that struck me because when she said that i was like okay yes i am into a business i am doing online business and suddenly i am seeing certain benefits coming to me positivity is coming my way so yes prosperity helps you let me give you an example think of mother teresa think of the organization known as brahma kumaris which is the main foundation is purity and you see that within hundreds of years they have spread around in 150 countries not just pramukh mari there so many other organizations where which have been uh, led by certain people who are following celibacy look at the prosperity but they are not running after money but the money is running after them or wealth is running after them that's what happens when you follow purity celibacy is such a power that god father if you if i may ask you a question do you think god is poor or rich you can't portray him in the form of poor rich because he is the owner or he is the lord of all the world so being pure if he is the lord of all the world what do you think you can be what do you think you can become i'm not asking you to conquer the whole world and have all the wealth of the whole world with you but what i'm saying is that a part of the purity or the level of purity which you maintain helps you or helps you to choose not to be greedy but to be prosperous so much so that you get that wealth and you can spread it around with other people also but the most important wealth which you can spread around is you can transfer purity to other people like i am transferring this experience of mine and i am sharing it with you that how purity is helping me to focus my paradigm onto only one aspect that i want to become physically wealthy i can focus my complete mind on prosperity and peace but if my mind is focused towards getting all those higher dopamines or getting all those higher spikes of uh, mood swings just by getting sexually active then my mind gets distracted a part of my energy spiritual energy gets diverted or i would say it leaks out it drains me out and i can't focus again back on prosperity or i can't be focused if suppose a business idea or a business decision needs to be taken i can't be so attentive at that point of time which i need to be in the present world as you know everything is fluctuating so much 
in a present life so my attention span should be so powerful that i can make decisions immediately try it out everything which i'm speaking over here is do it stay stay celibate in india especially during the navratris we most of the people not all they tend to be for in celibacy for at least a month two months till the time the pujas are going on till the time the celebrations are going on so they remain celibate and majority of people whom i have spoken to they say this we feel lighter we feel relaxed now imagine you practice this for 3 months 4 months 12 months and the whole year you are celibate you and your wife you would be the first person who would be able to comment on this channel that yes i experienced peace there was prosperity in my life and we are doing wonderful so i hope you follow this up and you experience it because everything can't be explained just by words you have to do it you have to experience it and i'll be coming up with more of my experiences of how celibacy is helping me out on a day to day basis how it's helped me physically how it's helping me out on a spiritual basis and a mental basis so i leave you with this thought thank you so much and i'll see you in the next episode if you have any comments if you have any kind of questions please put them up in this comment section under this and do subscribe and share this with your friends provided you are practicing it yourself first till then take care see you bye bye Thank you.